So I'm going to tell you a uh, little device that I built for um, doing water sampling um, using uh, Sterevex filters. And I've just destroyed my glove. Oh, well. um, so this is a Sterevex filter. Um, this happens to be one that is expired. Um, I'm using it because they're expensive. Um, I got this in a, I found this in a trunk abandoned at the research station in Kamchatka. Um, so, there it is. So, we're actually going to use it for something. When, uh, when I've used these before, we had uh, filtered a liter of water through these. This is a, a 0.45 uh, micron filter uh, with 50 milliliter uh, syringes. And that meant thing filter syringe 20 times and pushing the liquid through this filter, which was incredibly difficult and annoying. Um, and if you happen to be in a place that has bears, um, uh, it's a really good way of losing track of your uh, situational awareness and um, having a bear sneak up on you, which is what happened to me. Uh, I would rather not have that experience again. So I've made this little device to do this with a bicycle pump. Uh, I used a soldering to attach these two lure fittings to the top of this Nalgene bottle. And there's the inside of it. Um, so I'm going to go fill this up with river water. We're at Puda Creek on UC Davis campus. Uh, tried UV sterilizing these, but we're using an, ex an expired filter, so whatever. Um, so here's the gadget that I built. Um, here's another one of these, same thing. Let's put the tube in there. And it's connected to that side, so that's where the outflow is going to be. So, attach this lure fitting. And the filter goes onto the end of the lure fitting. Oops, wrong side. Go here. And then, just in case people don't want me to leave the filtered water behind, I'll collect the filtered water in this container. Alright, so there it is. And then, this is to supply the pressure. I'm going to put a, a little air filter in here. And then, this is my bicycle pump. So, put that on here, and let's see if this works. It seems to be working. So, these filters are supposed to be... Um, they're supposed to only be up to 35 PSI. Uh, one of the problems that I ran into using uh, syringe is that it's very, very easy to go way, way above 35 PSI if you're frustrated and push really hard. So, you know, I'm kind of looking at the, how much the, if you look at the collection bottle, you can see as I pump it up, it expands a little bit. Um, bottle won't take much more than 35 psi so if it expands too much um, it should just start leaking out of the top here so there's my cheap ass pressure regulator there it goes you can see a little bit of green in the filter now so we've probably got some 
algae. The lure fittings are leaking just a bit. Right, so you can see the filter is basically saturated. It's pretty wonderfully green. Um, we've only got about 300, uh, 300 milliliters through it. But if you compare the, the two inflow versus the outflow, you can see uh, pretty markedly different. Um, I don't know if I would drink this, but. Uh, probably could, um, but you know, I'm now filling enough to cause this thing to bulge and this is probably well above 35 psi, so I think the filter's, filter is as full as it's going to get, so uh, we'll, uh, let's release the pressure here. So, things we've learned from this, uh, the threads need to be uh, sealed somehow because they do leak. I told you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, otherwise it seems to be working pretty well. Um, might want to use the, th the thicker plastic bottles than these thinner ones, but uh, I don't know, the thinner ones are useful because you can just kind of feel how much pressure is on them. Um, but uh, there we go. So, I'll take this guy out. Oh, crud, I forgot to bring uh, caps. That's okay, we'll let it dry as we carry it over. Not sterile. Well.